Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I've got another After Effects tutorial for you. And today I'm going to be going over how to uh, composite element text into a scene, such as I have done here, and I think it looks really nice. It, it you sort of, it's reacting with the scene as you'll see in a minute as I play it through, and it's also um, it just the colours. It works really well with the scene. It 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 sort of looks like it's there, so you're trying to match up the colours and make it look like it's in the actual environment. Because I've seen a lot of uh, pieces of text in Cinema 4D, whatever, and it just does not look right because it isn't reacting with the environment. It just isn't looking the same as it would be if it was actually there. So I'll just show you a quick preview. So if we get time, I may show you how to do the uh, optical flare as well. But that is basically what I'm doing and if you haven't if you don't know this is from the montage of the fancy that should hopefully be coming out on Sunday so stay tuned for that but basically what we will go and do is we will um, I got my okay so I've got my vacant clip here I'm just gonna drag it into its own composition so I've got it already set out and I'm going to first of all motion track it and we, I'm just gonna use the camera tracker in uh, After Effects to do that and while we um, are waiting we can set up a new solid call this element and we can search up element and drag that onto our solid and we can uh, make our text type in whatever you want so let's do triple like so and then we can um, hide shut that off go into element custom layers custom text and then we can select our text layer that we use, that we just made so that's going to take the path of our text and then when we go into our scene setup when it loads we can hit extrude and there we have our 3d text we'll just click ok for now but what we will actually do is i'm just going to redrag in that vacant clip again and we can shut this one off we can go to somewhere in the middle and we can just freeze frame this because then what we can do is we can go back into element and instead of custom text and masks we can go to te custom texture maps and use that clip that we just selected and that means that when we go into scene setup now we can change the environment to that custom layer here so now we can make that our environment so now you can see if we and if you hold alt you can rotate around you can see that's now our environment which is cool and I'm just going to use a material um, from the Pro Shaders uh, Metal uh, Gold Grunge. I really like this one. It looks really nice. I mean, it's only draft textures at the moment, but it, it's, it looks good. So we basically have our 3D text, basic 3D text, like so. I'm just going to shut Element off, and we can. our camera tracker is now finished. And I'm just going to select these points around here that are on the floor and we get a nice target and we'll just make a new null and camera now I'm going to delete the null because I don't want a null there at the moment go back onto our clip here and I'm just going to select this null here because that's about where I want the text to be I'm just hit P and then we will turn back on our element and you can see it's sort of out of place so we can go group 1 particle replicator and because this text layer is on a group one here we can be controlling it with these parameters so we can see the position in Z is 7077 we can hit that and that's going to push it back to where that null is and you can just see it incredibly small though but we can f and what we can do but we can fix that by going particle look and we can just hold shift and then scale this back up to about there looks good and now that now that looks a bit better because it's where we sort of want it and now we can just play around with the position a bit move this over we can go to the rotation and just swing it around slightly and move the X back like so you just want to mess around it and get it looking in line so that looks pretty good and already it does look like it is there 
but we want to probably change some colors and stuff so what we can do is we can search up curves and I'm just going to do it this way so you can go effect, color correction and curves now I'm going to create a bit of contrast I'm going to drag up the brights a bit and then take take down the darks just give it a bit of contrast and then we can go to the red now there isn't really any red in the scene so we're going to want to take that out slightly so we can drag it down you see it goes sort of greeny and now there's quite a lot of green and blue so I'm going to drag the green up quite a bit and just make a sort of slight S shape and then the blue, there's definitely a lot of blue, you can see that the walls are sort of a bluey tinge so we can bring the blue up and then also make a slight S shape like so and now that I think personally that looks a lot better than without the curves you just darkens it slightly and it makes it look a bit more a bit better and you get these sort of green highlights on the edges like it would be reacting we could probably turn down take down the greens just a bit and maybe put up the blue a bit more like so so that looks really good and with color correction that looks should look really nice um, I'm just going to show you how to do the optical flares I guess quickly so we can go camera tracker and I, I can see that there is a point on the light here so I'm going to create a new null for that and we can hit P so we can see the position I'm just going to zoom back out we can make a new solid by hitting control Y we can call this optical flares like so and my things messed up we can go video copilot, optical flares, options. And I think I used, uh, in the um, pro presets, I used this one here. And I'm just going to go through and you know take off some of these irises because I don't particularly want, actually, I don't really want any of these. Keep that on. So just, you just want to get something. I don't want something too, you know, um, big and bold. I just want something. You know, just boost the scene slightly. So we just take most of these off. There's some streaks and stuff. Take off that, that, and that. Um. No, that looks alright. Keep no. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the flare from the one I used in the example, which is okay. I'm just going to copy this layer just to save time because I spent a bit of time, and I will just um, reset these. Sorry about this, I just thought it'd be a bit better because it wasn't really turning out to what I wanted it to be like. Just give me a second to reset everything. Okay, so now that we would have our flare here, and I'll just put this. Okay, so we have a flare like this. I just, you know, made something quite basic, just took some time. And now you would see that it isn't just staying where it is. But because we've got a 3D camera, we can now make this 3D. So that's going to put it in 3D space, but now that's sort of our position. So what we can do is we can go to the position of the null we made on our light, and we can just cop use this position. So the we can make the Z about one six nine three seven, and that's going to push it all the way back again. We can just move that up. That's the center position. We can just make that there and we, we're just going to want to bump up the scale again like so and I don't know what's happening in here it seems to have gone slightly weird which is extremely strange ok so we can move that up Oh, uh, was that the wrong now? Okay. Anyway, we can just copy that and we can put that in. Let me try again. I don't know what happened there, really. Bring up the scale. Let me move it. 
Right, I don't know what's happening. But any so I mean if I was to copy that layer again. That's very strange, it's probably because I've uh, gone and copied and pasted it. <clears throat> sorry, sorry about this guys. Um Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it here for now, just use this this one. But I'll show you what I did and then be normally your flare will just be black. So you can change the blending mode to add. And once you've positioned it all up, so I mean we can bring this up slightly side and that would be now reacting in 3D space. And what we can go we can go down to the flicker and you can just turn up the speed. I wouldn't recommend going anything above fifty and same with the amount and that's just gonna give it some variation and make it flicker. But yeah, that's just a little bonus extra and obviously bring up the scale because as you move it back in a 3D space, it's going to get smaller, so you just want to bump up the scale again. But yeah, that's just a little bonus thing, um, just to make everything look a bit nicer. So yeah, guys, that's the tutorial, just a quick one, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like and comment if you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one, guys. Thanks a lot.